Hello everyone, we are at Dell Technologies World in Las Vegas and it's my pleasure to introduce Mike Howell from Rentokill. So we just grabbed him, he was walking by and we said, Mike, please come to us and chat about what's going on in Rentokill. And so let's first start off with Mike introducing himself, telling us what is Rentokill and what's your role there. Absolutely, yeah, thank you Sanjay. So uh, Rentokill Initial is the world's largest services business. So. Um, our motto is to protect and enhance lives through helping through preventing pest-borne diseases and hygiene services and food hygiene. And my role on the uh, Global Infrastructure Manager for Rentical Initial. So we do strategy um, and architecture for our global infrastructure um, across our 70 plus countries uh, for 40,000 40, employees. Um, you know, across across our global global estate. So I've had the pleasure of working with Velocade now from the very early days, long before the VMware acquisition, uh, back in 2015. And in terms of our VeloCloud deployment, we are deployed in 32 countries, uh, over 500 offices, five continents, four global data centers. So yeah, we're going, we're going great guns, and you know, we're still deploying every day. It's uh, fantastic technology. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. No so this is, you know, probably the name that may not be very familiar to you, but Mike just said. 40,000 employees, 32 countries, more than 500 sites deployed with ST-MAN. So what was it that got you to look at ST-MAN in the first place? Because VeloCloud at that time was a very small outfit, a small company. What made you take the leap and get into this ST-MAN space? ST-1 is a, you know, is a, is a game-changing technology for me. And that, and that was that was a real differentiator. So we do a lot of work with yourselves and, and VMware because you know, it's not just VeloCloud, even though VeloCloud is a, a fantastic technology. It's just SD1 is a, is a, it is a game changer for me. It's an evolution in the one. It was a case of, there were so many challenges with the existing MPLS legacy estate that there needed to be something better out there. And as our application architecture evolved and we were pushing more to the cloud, you know, we found ourselves almost implementing, you know, I would say horrible, traditional, unmanageable, unscalable solutions to be able to get data closer to our users. So we started looking at better options and, and back in 2015 we, we got wind of SD1. And when we started looking into it even more, it was, it was almost a eureka moment. Um, and then we started looking into the technologies and what vendors were available and you know, eventually settled on, on, on VeloCloud itself. But it was such a game changer, it revolutionized the one and actually you know, this is why we're still talking to people about it. Uh, I'll let people make their own mind up on what's the right technology for them and what's the right vendor. Uh, we settled on Velo Cloud, it's been fantastic for us. But SD1 is a game changer, and I think anybody who's on that cloud architecture journey will realize that you know, this really is where you need to be going forward. We do still keep talking to people because people are coming on more and more. You know, over time, it's, it's people are getting into this field and getting into it and understanding the benefits. So, yeah, it's a great time anyway to be in the one. It's, it's really enjoyable and, you know, we're, we're reaping the benefits of the business. That's great. So, you know, as Mike said, game changer, also application based. And then the non-scalability of the traditional networks gave way to bringing SD-WAN in. So you said you know, you're know you achieving a lot of benefits from the use of SD-WAN. Can you talk to us about a few of those benefits that yeah, you've got? Absolutely. So I would say number one is cost. You know, let's face it, it's not all about cost, but, but the solution itself is, is a much more cost-effective solution. Um, you know, MPLS is, is, is quite a pricey technology. You know, it's no surprise out there to, to the vendors that are employing, uh, deploying MPLS. It's, it's, it's a costly technology. Um, take SD1 and business grade ISP circuits, it's no surprise that there's cost benefits out there. You, you've only got to do the market research. Um, so that is an immediate benefit for us, absolutely. Um, but it wasn't just about cost. We, we would have happily deployed the solution, even if the OPEX stayed flat. But the benefits are bringing the user as close to the application as possible. You know, this is huge for us. Gone are the days of backhauling traffic across MPLSs, across continents. You know, we're delivering content as close to the end user as possible. And we're being able to do this and manage it at scale. Yeah, we, we, there are traditional methods for doing a lot of the things that SD-WAN can achieve, but being able to manage this at scale for a global business, our, our estate consists of around 800 sites. And by the way, we're looking to scale this up to meet those 800 sites. 
being able to manage that at scale is, is, is impossible in the traditional world. The only way you can do that with is SD1, you know, software defined, orchestration. It's the only way that works for a big global enterprise. Excellent, excellent. So, you know, it's, if it were not for pioneers like Mike, we would still be just sitting in labs trying to create technology. But this requires both technology creation from the likes of you know, the, the vendors, but it also requires customers who are willing to lean forward to do things that are in a different way. And so you know, this, this is why we thank people like Mike, because they're really the pioneers in this space. Absolutely. Now, as you look at this, um, how do you see SD-WAN helping you going forward? You know, there's a lot of talk about edge compute and AI and ML and 5G. Help us understand how all those fit in into the journey that you've taken with SD WAN. Absolutely, I think I think some of the future benefits for us is, is again particularly around just just increased agility. Um, you know, if we take some of our de developing areas, for example, India, connectivity in India is, is you know it's hard to come by, um, and and the way that they, that we go to market in those areas generally we might. You know, we might almost feel out a market, we might feel out an area where we want to deploy. Trying to get in traditional circuits in those areas, uh, you know, it can be a costly process, but if we couple SD1 with the likes of 5G, you know, again, it, it's, it's, a, it's a game changer for us. If, if we'd have talked about this five to ten years ago, it would have been, you know, it would have been a, a pipe dream, it would have been right. non-existent. But actually, it's allowing us to really be agile in those markets and to and to get in there and set up fast and get to business as fast as possible. Um, so really, that's where I'm really excited about for, for, for our journey with SD1. We're heavy in the IoT space um, as a business, you know, we've, uh, we've got a fantastic IoT product where we've, all, we've got pest pest control traps, IoT enabled, reporting back to the customer in real time. Um, and that SD1 is going to enable more and more uh, innovation and agility around, around how we do IoT, IoT on, a, on a much greater scale. No, that's amazing. So we are at Dell Tech World, as you know, and Dell obviously has made announcements about SD1 Edge powered by VMware, and IoT is also an integral part of their strategy. So it's really gratifying to, to hear from Mike that in this pest control space, you know, you can think of these traps that are IoT enabled. In fact, going into the future, everything's gonna become IoT enabled. So we're very fortunate that you can share, you know, your best practices as well as how this is gonna help you moving forward. Any uh, closing remarks, Mike? We like to see ourselves as an evangelist. You know, as I say, I'll let, you know, I'll let the guys make up their own mind around, around what vendor to go down. As I say, we've had a, a fantastic journey with yourselves from, from the very early days to where we are today and, and still going forward. This technology is here to stay in. And you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to the day of, of when, it, when everybody's on that journey and, and can see the SD1 horizon because yeah, it's been fantastic for us as a business and has, has really been revolutionary. That's great. Now, usually people say, what happens in Las Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> but not in the case of SD-WAN. What happens here, we want everyone to know about it. We want everyone to know about the benefits that SD-WAN is bringing, as, and we have a live customer over here, Mike, that's gone through this journey. And has been, we have been very fortunate that he just walked by and you know, was able to share that with us. So thank you so much for this, Mike. Thank you very much, cheers. Cheers.